Welcome back friends and today I'd like to go over high pat on horse Tai Chi form so from here I'll face this way and, and notice the footwork that when I finish I'm like on an empty stance or a, a toe stance and the empty stance just like how it sounds is you basically have no weight or no energy on that on that foot that's doing the empty stance where the that's the leading foot for the toe stance or empty stance face this way. You can see how the synchronization of both hands simultaneously and this is a, a natural breathing I want to try to focus on here. This is where the power play, where the action is going to be. And the breathing just should be natural. When your arm, even though your hand is coming in and the other hand is going out, you want to be exhaling when it's going out, but normally in the Xiaoyao system, when your arms are away from you, you want to be inhaling, and then when your arms are coming in or contracting towards your body, you want to be exhaling. But since this is a, a, a dual hand position of like the in and out or the opposites the yin and yang it's a, this this for this form it's it's okay to do just do the exhaling here and and like i say practice on that empty stance the toe stance almost no weight So again, Good. now I'll face the camera, or I'll face you so you can see again. Good. And then you can see here the hand position. And one more time, this way. And the reason why I slide my feet back is because it's it, you'd be too wide and uncomfortable to do the high pad on horse technique from coming from the single whip because the single whip your stance is a lot wider so you can see how I slide my foot here and then do the technique so And this is going to give me a better balance and I'm able to execute the technique a lot more effectively when I have a better stance. So keep that in, keep that in mind when you're transitioning from the single whip to the high pat. 
is that slide. And that's why the end, part of the, why the empty stance, because you don't want a lot of energy and weight on, on that foot when you're trying to do the high pad on horse. It just, it just throws your body mechanics off. So, and when you have no energy or when you're doing the empty stance or toe stance, it lets you glide freely. Just ever so softly. And there you have it, friends. The high pat on horse form. And until next time, friends, have a great day.